the application for grad school asks who I love. Not in the form of an essay question, but a checkbox, next to five letters and a plus sign. I check the box and an alarm sounds in a room of people I imagine are dressed as Mormon missionaries and they begin the hunt. They scour my social media and identify a pattern that suggests I have a boyfriend. A rejection letter comes in the mail. It says, sorry, we do not accept frauds. My therapist asks if I am familiar with the concept of projection. I uncheck the box. Unsatisfied, I gesture towards the B in the acronym and yet, I still don't believe that I belong. Think of all the boys whose lips touched mine, how it never felt like a kiss. Wonder if B is even the right letter for me as I think of the woman in biochem who took my breath away. How I never kissed her. How I've never kissed any woman the way God intended. I recheck the box. Scroll to the section meant to house explanations for poor grades and gaps between semesters, where applicants spill their blood at the academic altar of forgiveness. I tell them, once in seventh grade at the kitchen counter, my mother compared homosexuality to bestiality. How the next thing we know, people will want to marry their dogs, and it is the first time I fear I am an animal my mother would put down. I do not finish my math homework that night. Instead, spend the rest of my childhood trying to add it up in my heart. I tell them in high school, I listed my best friend as my wife on Facebook and my parents pulled me out of school. <laughs> Demanded it was a phase I'd get over and on that day I was both Jesus and Judas. Fled only after denying myself three times. You see, when I believed in their God, I felt hell at my fingertips. I tell them, I do not owe anyone an explanation for what I did to get here in one piece. And for the first time, I believe it. I leave the box checked.